Hi guys, it's Big Al and welcome back to Big Al Sports World. And today is the first season, or sorry, first game of the season even, not the very first season. We're like our fourth season, welcome. Still can't get it right after four seasons of doing videos. Woohoo, go out. Um, as you can see, it's the first game of the first league game of the season and we're up against Salford. So, team that we pretty much played at the end of last season, we put them as the first game of this season. So let's have a quick look at the National League uh, predictions, what they expect, as you've probably seen in the transfer one. Well, we are now 3 or 2 odds on favourite to win the league, along with Salford, who are 5 to 1. And as you can see, the likes of SC United, Lowestoft, and Bishop, and Alferton, etc., are all expected to get relegated. We will hopefully not get relegated this season, as I would not like that to happen. I am hoping we can actually win this league with the players that we signed in. No new new transfers come into the club and only Isaac Maynard who was in the under 23s last season so you guys wouldn't have seen him was released on a free transfer after he turned down three clubs and um, he came back asking first team I said no so he asked for a mutual term well he asked basically to leave this so I gave him a mutual termination of his contract don't need him not required. So, we're sticking with our good old 4-4-2 formation. And this is the team that's going to play the first game of the season. And I'm actually going to switch those two around. But David also false number 9. Because so, I changed it for the last game. We literally just have to keep changing it whenever we swap the strikers around. So, the team to play the first league game of the season is going to be Rosario in goals with a backline of Penny. Nielsen, O'Grady and Bardsley. In front of them we've got Redmond, Batty, Andrews and Yaboa. Up front we have, I'm just going to call him Jordy. I'm actually going to change his name just to Jordy. It's Hawala and Davidoff. On the bench we've got Chalk, Melner, Harris, Pike and Jesse Pye. So we got a pretty strong squad. I'm expecting a very, very good result here with any luck. So let's get stuck straight into it and see if we can pick up three points before my dinner is ready. As that is the last thing that anyone wants is me to have to stop the video to go and have my uh, dinner. That's the last thing I want to do as well. So let's get stuck into this. We got enough time hopefully to get this recording done. And we'll kick off. Whole new look squad pretty much for us. So hopefully we can uh, do it. And we have kick off in the fancy, sexy blue kit as always. With still no freaking sponsor. And that's not so good if, half, if they're intercepting it. Come on, we should be getting intercepted. They have an injured player in the pitch as well already. We're like three minutes in. Absolutely diabolical. And Nuneaton has scored the first league goal of the season with McCord. And then that was quickly followed up by Boston United three minutes later. Now Bardsley. He finds David Doff. Yeboa. Baddy's there, Baddy nods it down, oh, and Redmond couldn't go on the end of it. Nielsen picks up for Penny. What, what, Penny, you're going the wrong way. Nielsen thumped it into Redmond, poor ball forward by Redmond. The little knock-on wasn't enough, and here comes Salford on the counter-attack. And Asante, if that's a shot, my, my three-year-old son could do better. No offence. And they come on the attack again. They have an orange player. Johnson. White. Oh, what an interception by Penny. But it's straight back to Salford. Don't tell me we're going to blow the start of our season. I forgot to show you the preseason. And we're 1 0 down on the opening day of the season within 15 minutes. Not ideal. Not exactly what I would have wanted. Terrible clearance in the end by Penny. Should have found a man. But they just did it route 1. Straight down the back of the line, Red Shaw in behind, whips in the beautiful cross, and White on a pole, or sorry, Wintel on a pose in the box. Can we get back into this? Davy Doff. David Doff, oh, why shoot, why not cross it? Oh, 
can't believe we're 19th on the table. That was me sitting saying, oh, yeah, 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 we don't need to do anything like that. No, we really do. We need to start improving already in this half. I don't know why we're being so poor. Nielsen, the Redmond. This, this team have played pretty much well together. Jordy's just not in it. Jordy and Redmond are just not in it so far. And there's another through ball. Asante gets in behind Nielsen and Rosario with the big save. We're up to 16. At least we're moving up the table again. But still not good enough from us boys. Still not good enough. Oh, yeah, I know we've had them all from freaking long range. Can't believe we're losing on the opening day of the season. After being undefeated in pre I'll show you afterwards. We were undefeated pre season. Bardsley, Yaboa. Oh terrible. Nielsen, what is it? We get to the start of the season to say oh journalism, we can't bother playing for this. Nielsen's been stretched, Asante's in again. And he puts it well wide. Stretching us every time so they are this uh, Salford team. And we have a far, far better team than this. But looks like if he changes at half time. Penny's having an awful game. Andrew's not much better. And neither is our strike force. Oh, we got the top goal scorer Raquel Pike on the bench. So, worst comes to worst, we can bring him on. David Off controls it lovely. Andrew's. Back to David Off, poor touch by David Off, but a greedy to Bardsley, Yaboa. Come on, Yaboa, do something. That is a terrible cross again. O'Greedy will pick it up, pumps it forward, but Yaboa had already come all the way back. Easy for McDonald, and McDonald will pump it forward, and Whittle was on a post again, and Asante's in between the two centre backs every time, but blasts it wide. We need to start closing him down a little. I don't know, do I bring on Harris or do I bring on Pye for Andrews? Penny's not looking great. We got Miller on the bench, but he's a right back, not a left back. Oh, disappointment already. Uh, already, I'm going to have to uh, give him a bollocken on the opening day of the season. Not ideal. We've never not been behind at half time all pre season. I'm going to bring Harris into the midfield. And what does he like to do? He likes to be a deep plan, deep lay playmaker. Okay. Penny's having a shocking game. I'm going to bring Meller on. I'm not sure Barnsley can play right and left back if I'm right. Am I right? No, we can play right back. Bollocks. Okay, Meller's just going to play out of place. And I'm going to bring Raquel Pike on for Jordy because he's not having a great game either. And see if David Off and Raquel Pike can rekindle their partnership from last season. They left us so many goals. Remember, Pike got over 30 goals last season. Top goal scorer in the division. He won all the awards for uh, our club. Meller can't find Barry, but he gets the ball back. Meller plays it in. Barry picks it up. Barry! Oh, what an equalizer from Daniel Barry! First ever debut goal as such. It is his first proper goal in the league. And the Kirsten Ashton within a minute of half of the kickoff are back into this game. Miller with a throw win. Plays a lovely and body. Daniel body. Buried it. Keeper should have done a lot better. But I don't care. A goal's a goal. And that's what I wanted to see from my centre midfielders. Getting up there and scoring goals. And Redmond plays it forward. Pike can't get on the end of it though. Johnson back to Cummins. Can we win this this ball? Can we pick up a loose ball here? Johnson again. The injured Mafafa. The steward. He's pulled Redmond out of position. Miller. Doesn't even wait. Asante. It's another free ball. Asante's got players coming in. Redshaw and Rosario. No, Rosario didn't save it even over a bar. It looked like Rosario saved it. Sandy's only in a 5.9 rating, man. That is terrible, considering that uh, I took off mine at 6.2s. Barry loses out, unfortunately. And here we come again. Salford on the attack. Can we withstand this? Sandy's in. Rosario somehow saved it. It looked awful. looked awful. 
on a corner of the Salford and Body is there again. Daniel Body is everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. And they're giving it away to Raquel Pike. But that's a terrible ball forward. Shocking ball forward by Raquel Pike. Nielsen, who's been solid all preseason, is not having the best game. I think opening day jitters for my team today. By the looks of it. Not ideal. Not how I would want it. We should be doing a lot better. We should be we should be about three or four goals up, in, in my opinion. Harris, he looks for Pike, but again, that ball has not been ideal. I don't know why we keep pumping it or trying to hit it like that. That helps if I turn instructions on, wouldn't it? we got players that can pass the ball. That's the problem. Now they're passing it, and it just tore us apart, and that was a wonderful play indeed. Absolutely tore us apart. Redmond's now having a bad game. Yes, we know Whittle is like their main man at the minute. He's doing everything in that midfield. That attacking midfielder just sitting between this, my midfield and my strikers is really, really grinning on me. Redmond with a corner. Whipped in. No one there yet again. Yeboah. Back to Redmond. Redmond. Harris! Oh! The young Australian trying to get on the score sheet to say, Yo, boss, I should have started, not Andrews. Redmond whips it in again. Terrible cross again by Redmond. He needs to get these crosses sorted. Great ball back. You boy. Yo, yeah, you boy. He still hasn't signed his contract, you boy. Another one that could be leaving us. Redmond again can't get past the first centreman. I'm going to have to take him off corners, I think. Redmond. Better cross, and again the same defender clears that Harris down the body! Oh, unlucky by body! Much better football by the Nash there! But we need to start scoring goals, we're down the 11th in the table. Up and win, up and win, Nielsen wins the header, but again, David has to stand in there. Yeah, it doesn't want to play today, that looks like it. Barry again's in there, you boy. David off, he's found Raquel Pike! Raquel Pike, oh, he's gone wide and puts it well wide. If he had just taken that ball straight forward, he might have been through in goal. McCrum with the goal kick. Can we control it? Mellor does. Redman. Barry. Looking for Davy Doff. Davy Doff's in behind the defender. Oh, great challenge. Your boy. Oh, cross it. What was that, your boy? That was so poor. It is unbelievable. Great football by the Nash, and now they come in the counter attack with Redshaw. And Asante's in, I've just changed it to say Asante needs to be marked. And of course, Rosario with a big save, but. <sighs> Asante got clean through again. I've already made three changes. I really want to make my fourth change if I could. I would be making changes all the time. Ugh, opening day of the season, it looks like it's going to be a draw against the team that's due to go up with this, according to the preseason. Redmen, Harris, oh what an effort by Harris, but David Doff was offside already with a shot came in. Redmond's had a poor game, we've had a few poor games today. I'm hoping against uh, Geisley will get us off the mark with the reserve, with the other team, and I can't believe it, 10 minutes ago, we're 2-1 down. What the feckeroo, not the start of the season that I was a predicting or hoping for, I don't even want to say it again, that was diabolical defending, Nielsen takes the blame, that's why his written's dropped down to 6.3, we've gone attacking now, and again it comes with Salford, we're the better team, I don't get it, We, I know it's going to take a few games for this team to gel fully, but I've been playing the same team, like rotational, all pre-season, and we've played really really well, comes to the opening day of the season, and look at that, we could be 3-1 down here, Miller with the clearance, but McDonald picks it up, whips it in, and O'Grady with the header out, can Redmond get there, no he can't, Kaya wants it more, Salford want it more, definitely Salford want it more, Red Shaw's in, it's 3-1, absolutely terrible, diabolical defending, and the Nash are getting absolutely annihilated, we drop all the way down to 20th in the table, not how you want to start your opening game of the season. Well, there's going to be a few conversations after this game, that's for sure. Penny's going to know about it. Andrews is going to know about it. Redmond's going to know about it. Nielsen's going to know about it. I have no issue finding wages this season. I want this league. 
and with results like this is not how it's going to happen Nielsen can't win the ball Barry has been the man of the match for me for us he's been everywhere Meller over the top Raquel Pike we haven't even seen since he really came on Tony oh yeah your boy can't finish yet again he won't be playing for a little while either oh how they get both 9.9 9.0s whenever they've been awful is beyond me Barry your boy Young Harris he hit David off his offside yet again it's going to be a different team against the uh, Geisley or Girdley or Geisley, whatever the hell her name is. Look at that. Anderson was just left. Nielsen, sorry, was just left sitting as Rosario has to pull off another save with a minute left on the clock. We should not have been lost this 3 1. Absolutely diabolical. Well done, Salford. They, they wanted it more. It could be four here. Could be four. And there's a free kick. Needless free kick given away by Redmond. Was it Redmond or Penny? One or two. And Barry yet again is there to clear it away. Redshaw picks it up. He's found Stewart. Back to Redshaw. And the big centre back nearly scored. Harris gets it away. But that is it. 3 1 victory for Salford. They deserved it more. They wanted it more than us. We did not turn up at all today. After the pre season we just had. Oh. I'm far from pleased. That is diabolical for the opening day of the season. There's going to have to be mega changes. As you can see, we play Geisley in like two days. But the full team's going to be swapped anyway before then. We're going to have Jesse Pye and off starting in the next game. Not ideal. We're down to 18th in the table after that result. Uh, let's look, have a quick look at the schedule to show you the pre-season results. So we started off against Hungerford with a 2-1 victory. Our youngster Jack Payne and our other youngster Rams Ramazzini scored there. You have seen Ramazzini's goal as well. A little back heel into the top corner. Then we went to Garford and beat them 6-2. With Barry, Hattrick for Geordie, Redmond and Davidoff. Which is pretty much the team that played today. Um, then we beat Mould Alex 3-0. We beat Aldrinham 2-0. With a double for brace for Jordy. And then we beat Colvo 3 1 with Harry Noon, Kenny, and Chambers getting on the score sheet. So, as you can see, guys, we're down to 18th in the table. First game of the season over. Not how I wanted to start. Terrible, terrible defeat. But it is a brand new team. They are still going to gel. It's probably going to take about four or five games from the gel. But hopefully, we can get a few wins in amongst those five, four or five games and not start off with it as bad as last season where we lost four in a row and that really hurt us and hopefully then from there we can then push forward to win this league so guys if you've enjoyed this one hit your thumbs up hit the like button thumbs up whatever you want to call it if you're new to the channel hit the subscription button it's a pleasure to have all new subscriptions and any comments leave in the comment section cheers guys have a good one all the best bye